everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I've actually decided to uh, paint on cardboard. I really really liked my painting on tiny canvases video and you guys seem to really like that too. So yeah, I decided to paint on some cardboard today because you know what, why not? So as you can see, I am drawing a lovely little Pikachu here. Now I'm just using my uh, pencil to sketch it out roughly so that I can paint over the top. I'm not concentrating on line art or anything yet because obviously I am not using markers for this. I am using my Josunja's acrylic paints, which I really love by the way. These paints have a matte finish and they're sort of more fluid than other acrylic paints, but they're still really opaque and nice and just love that matte finish. So I basically just sketched it out nicely and then I went around with the background first because I thought that, you know, the background is easy and it's fairly simple to do and obviously I can paint over if I have any little nicks or mistakes or little bumps. I can use the yellow paint for the Pikachu to paint over that, so yeah. Now this Pikachu, I um, actually used a Pokemon card for reference. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I wanted to get a pose that was kind of dynamic and as if it was like jumping out at the page or as if it was like doing an electric attack. So yeah, that's why I decided to do that pose and I think it works pretty well. So I'm just doing a rough uh, basic coat first uh, with my yellow paint here and I'm just doing a few layers so that I can get it nice and uh, you know flat and even and have none of that cardboard showing through. And then after that I mixed a little bit of orange and actually a little bit of purple in with this yellow to get a sort of a shadow colour that looked really nice. And yeah I just went over wherever I wanted the shadows to be. Now I was being very careful not to uh, go over where I wanted line art to be at the end. Um, I kind of was being very careful because I didn't want to lose uh, where I had planned to do the uh, final lines. So yeah, that's why you can sort of see a random yellow uh, line in d different places where like the feet is coming out or you know the head, that kind of thing. And yeah, I'm actually very surprised about this cardboard. To be honest, when I started, I assumed that the paint would make the cardboard all soggy and wet and like make it buckle or something like that. But to be honest, that didn't happen at all. These paints actually dry pretty quick. So yeah, I had no problems whatsoever. I was actually thinking I might have to gesso the paper, oh, the cardboard, but um, I didn't want to lose the effect that I have at the moment where it's sort of like the, the background sort of painted over and you can see some of that cardboard showing through and I didn't want to miss out on that so that's why I didn't end up gessoing it and to be honest I didn't really need to gesso. So once I had all the shadows down that I liked I went in with my black paint and I painted in Pikachu's eyes. And yeah, I went around wherever I wanted some, you know, rough line art to be. I actually kind of like the look uh, without the line art as well, but I wanted this uh, artwork to be really poppy and jump out at the page and have like a bold statement, if you know what I mean. Like I wanted it to like have some oomph. And yeah, I think the line art worked pretty well for that. Also, I kind of had to do black for the eyes and the nose and the ears. So I decided to do black around the line on as well. Yeah. 
Now finally all I had to do was paint in all of that electricity because Pikachu is sort of doing an attack and yeah I just wanted to make it look badass and have it like electric going around it so yeah I did that with some white acrylic paint. Now I'm actually doing two uh, artworks today for this little video so I actually decide for the next one to do Rockruff and I mainly chose Rockruff because to be honest Rockruff is so cute and it's one of the newer generation of Pokemon so I really wanted to do an artwork of it. I've actually drawn Rockruff twice I believe. Uh, once very long time ago when the, uh, that Pokemon was actually announced. And then another time in my 1000 subscriber artwork video, so I guess Rockruff is getting another artwork for himself. Now for the background for Rockruff, I did basically the same thing for Pikachu, however I decided to go with an orange colour instead of an aqua colour. And this is mainly because I thought that it would suit uh, the colours that I chose for Rockruff, and yeah I think it suited pretty well. So yeah, basically the same thing with the Pikachu, I went in with the flat colours, I mixed uh, some nice brownie colours, they're not too full on, they're kind of desaturated a little bit but also a little bit purpley as well. Um, later on I actually go in and add a little bit more yellowness to them just to, you know, tone them back a bit. But yeah, I actually really like the colours that I chose for Rockruff. I think it stands out really nicely against the orange background. And yeah, as I said before, this cardboard thing, I actually to be honest, I assumed that this would be a bit of a fail video. I kind of thought, you know, it's not the best idea, but I'll give it a go and see what happens. And I'm pleasantly surprised with this. And to be honest, if you guys uh, are interested, I actually want to do more. I actually have a few more pieces of this cardboard here. Um, to be honest, it was from a box that I received from Officeworks <laughs> when I bought another marker case. So to be honest, that's pretty funny because like it, it, it came from art supplies and I'm using it as an art supply. So yeah, now just doing the final touches of Rockruff and as I said before, I'm just adding a few more yellowy tones to this Pokemon because I thought that the, the purples and the brown were a little bit too full on. But yeah, once I added that little tinges of yellow here and there, it toned it down nicely and it worked pretty well. And yeah, just like before with the Pikachu, I decided to do a nice poppy line art around the uh, Rockruff, it's not overly line art, it's kind of just like a black outline, well I guess that's what line art is, but to be honest when I think of line art I think like, you know, lots of like thick and thin lines and like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually really, 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 really pleased with these two artworks here. I thought Pokemon would be a great, uh, it would just be a really good opportunity to get uh, you know, another Pokemon art workout because I know you guys love my Pokemon art and I love drawing Pokemon, so you know. So here is the final artwork for these two cuties and I absolutely love them so much. So yeah, if you want me to do another video with a uh, painting on cardboard, make sure you give me a big like and if I get enough likes, I will do a lot more. So yeah, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.